Oswald was using Wayne money to arm them. And last but not least, hey, oh, we've looked at those. So we've looked at everything now. Damn it! I can't access the news feed. I need to get this working again. Damn it! Still offline. I need to get this working again. How? Did I look at all of her shit? I think I'm sure I did. Now that we know how Oswald manipulated Vicky's records, the back computer should be able to... There. No more holes. She was looking into Arkham patients. Reviewing records, checking submissions, prior histories. She was trying to figure out who was actually sick and who was committed because of Hill, Falcone, and my father. Can't really say you blame her that much. Mickey was digging deep. Gotham City records, freedom of information requests, post to conspiracy forums. All to find. It's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. Also a Death Star. It's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD headquarters, Gotham First National. It's almost every landmark in the city. We're on to something. Vicky wants to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. But without a man inside Wayne, he can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, We'll find her. Damn Bruce, right, there? Bruce. It's urgent. One of the bad prototypes has been stolen. By Lady Arkham? Not quite. I'm patching you the feed now. Selena. She stole from you? After all that you two... Alfred. Yeah, I know, Bruce, but... Why would she do this? Is she that cold-hearted? That selfish? I was just another mark to her. I should have known. The device she stole. It's a prototype. It's an electronic skeleton key. With it, you could bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. That key is far too dangerous in Miss Kyle's hands. Especially with Lady Arkham still at large. Get the car ready, Alfred. I'm going to get some answers from Selena. Hmm. I'll say one thing for this game, it does keep you interested. It's not your typical Batman plot, which is nice. Well, uh, okay, some of it is, but it's, it's a nice um, difference. Damn it. Hey, Bruce. I wasn't expecting you. Thought I'd make it outside the city limits, at least. I trusted you. And you stole from me. Don't take it so personally. Besides, we both know you're not here because of hurt feelings. Are you? Fuck's I don't blame you for wanting it back. Although, it only seems fair that I take something from you. You didn't give a second thought when you stole my claw. At least I had the decency to steal from you when you weren't in the next room. Maybe I just wanted a memento. <laughs> oh, that's good. I'll have to remember that one. <laughs> I'm surprised you had a toy like this. No doubt Batman would use it for the good of Gotham. But the less noble options are so much more. Exciting. Why should I give it back? So much potential. Thief of your class doesn't need a device like that. It'd only be a crutch. <laughs> Says the man whose belt is an armory. Catch. I know you're just playing into my pride. But you're right. I don't need a crutch. 
<laughs> oh, come on. Don't pretend you're not impressed. As long cons go, this one was a beauty. Getting into Wayne Tech's lab took a lot more than cracking a safe. I had to get close to people. Your friend Harvey. Poor guy just wanted to fall in love so bad. After what that, a bitch. It didn't take very long to get my introduction to his BFF. <laughs> the great Bruce Wayne. Imagine my surprise when the rich playboy turned out to be Batman. Scourge of Gotham. You talk a good game, but... I don't buy it for a second. You're not that shallow. You really think you know me that well? I know that whatever this started as... That's not all it means to The only thing it means... Is that I'm very good at my job. I'm getting out of here while the getting's good. Gotham's a house on fire, and I'm not gonna burn with it. You'd get out of here too. This town hates you. Hates your entire family. Just leave it all behind. Do something more... meaningful. ...of yours. You don't need the money, but... But think of the fun. You know I'm right. It'll be good to put some distance between us. After all, look at what happened to Harvey. It'd only be a matter of time before I crossed one of your lines. Isn't that right? My copy of the Boy Scout Handbook is out of date. I'm bound to break some rule. Harvey was out of control. And he wanted to destroy Gotham. If you did the same. And yes, I'd put you behind bars in a heartbeat. Looks like we're back where we started when we first met on that rooftop. Enemies. Well, you're not really leaving me with much of a choice. <laughs> oh, please. You weren't even trying to see things from my perspective. You're stuck in your close-minded, one-town world. I need you to understand something. You are just a job. A frustrating, if sometimes entertaining, job. And that job's done. I'm done with you. It's not complicated. I'm not a good person. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. That's all I am. I told you that from the start. I never pretended to be anything else. You're right. You're a thief. And nothing more. Glad we agree. Well, there's one good thing to come out of this. Now I know I was right. You really are just like everyone else. Can't wait to get out of this place. Goodbye, Selena. Can I have my bike back, maybe? Lucius, I've got the key. Uh, hold on, Alfred's on the line. Hey, Alfred, I... Bruce! Lady Arkham! She's here! I, I tried to keep them out, but... Alfred? Alfred! Alfred! Lucius, it's Bruce. He's not here. Damn it. I'm going to search for clues. Just tell me how I can help. Get over here as fast as you can. I'm on my way. We're gonna find him, Bruce. I know. Need to focus. Figure out what happened here. What happened to you, Al? Okay. Well... I have a gander at the fireplace. Ash everywhere. What did they do to you, Alfred? Being to death? Something big was thrown against this wall. Or someone. Hmm.
Furniture scattered outwards from a single point. Ooh, what's that? Scuff mark. A scuff mark. What could have caused this? Scuffing. Okay, I'm gonna assume scuff mark and furniture. Maybe. maybe. Lady Arkham must have used the concussion blast from her staff to try and stop huh. Alfred. I guess. Okay, what else we got? Ooh, some stuff on the floor. Face was knocked over in the struggle. The fight left nothing untouched. Ooh, what's that? Why is that up there? How the hell? Right, okay. So maybe fire and fire poker go together in some weird fucked up way. Alfred grabbed the fireplace poker to fend off Lady Arca, but she knocked it aside. That makes more sense. Still walking like I've shit myself. The lock's been completely destroyed. Alfred must have barricaded himself in here, but they got in anyway. Snooker table? Yeah, snooker table. Blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity hit. This pool cue was used as a weapon. Swung so hard it broke in half. Okay, so I'm gonna guess. That is that. Alfred used the pool cue as a weapon. Broke it across his attacker's head. When that didn't stop him, he used the jagged end to stab him, spraying blood across the pool table. Fair play, Alfred. You're pretty hardcore. Cool. I know what happened. The children of Arkham broke in. Alfred barricaded himself inside the parlor. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. He broke it across one of their heads, then stabbed him to get away. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Alfred almost escaped, but then Lady Arkham entered the parlor, used her staff's concussion blast, scattering all the furniture in her path, throwing him against the wall by the fireplace. Poor Alfred. So Alfred grabbed thing to use as a weapon to defend himself. But Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack, causing the poker to fly across the room and lodge into the wall. More blood on the mantle. He smashed his face into it. <coughs> Excuse me. All this Alfred murder is causing me trouble. Wait. That picture doesn't belong there. Let's move it, shall Lady we? Arkham wanted me to find this. Alfred. The butler did it. Password reckoning. You have no idea. Was Alfred evil all along? I'm confused. It's fun though. I do like this series. I think it's one that is probably the best one they've done.